Max Courage was established in the Boston Public School System 27 years ago. We are pleased to have both Jonathan and Stephanie with us today. None of this would have been possible without their leadership in creating a lasting legacy for Max through education for all. Shortly after the school year, Mrs. Schmidt and I went into all the sixth grades in New Bedford. We introduced the program and shared a little bit about Max. We both knew Max and we to answer any questions that the students or teachers might have. The number of sixth graders in New Bedford this year numbered nearly 1,100. So we asked the teachers in all three schools to do the first reading of the students' essays and then to send those that stood out to them along to us in February. We gathered 35 volunteers who spent a morning reading nearly 400 essays and we then sent more than 50 essays to Boston for the final reading at the Boston Public Library. So it was a long road for you all to get here. The volunteers, many of whom were readers in our last year, remarked on the improved writing of the students, which is a credit to their teachers who are here today. We couldn't do this without the teachers being willing to take on this extra assignment, and we are grateful. The readers also commented on the inspiration that they gained from reading the stories. The courage of children, Boston and beyond, is the result. And not only are these students 2018 fellows, they're also published authors. Lots to be proud of. Each student in the sixth grade in New Bedford will receive a copy of the anthology, and we hope that the essays will inspire all students to understand that courage comes forward in many ways, and it does reside in all of us. We're grateful to Dr. Lisa, Durkin, Lisa Dion, who is here with us today, manager of curriculum, who brought this program to New Bedford four years ago. And it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Leon to speak to us. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for all coming here. This is such a great pleasure for me to be here with you all. Four years ago, I started my journey in New Bedford, and Dr. Durkin had asked me if I ever heard of the Max Courage curriculum, and I said, no, I have not, but I'd be more than willing to speak to everyone about it. Um, when I did come to New Bedford four years ago, uh, my task was to build an ELA curriculum in our middle schools and our elementary schools. And our first unit of study working with our content instructional leaders and our teachers was to be on courage. And I thought, wow, what an opportunity to build this story into our curriculum and touch the lives of all our students and give them the opportunity to be inspired by someone who's close to their age and has had this experience of courage. So that's what we did. We looked at all of the um, novels that we were interested in. We all worked together and said, you know, this is a perfect story to inspire our students. And talking to Mr. Wahlberg a little earlier today, he said, you know, his son always took the next step, not knowing what the results were. So I would say to all the students here, continue to take the risks in your life that are meaningful to you and not always worry about the outcome. Of course, always be cautious, don't take too crazy a risk, but have the courage to take that risk. And you're obviously here today because you have taken that risk and you are an exemplary, exemplar of courage. So continue to be courageous and I congratulate all your students, teachers, administrators on doing such a fine job with our young students. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We also want to thank the principals of Keith, Normandon, and Roosevelt for welcoming us into your schools. With special thanks to Nancy Haight, Laura Garcia, and Vanessa Santos, the content instructional leaders, this was a term that was new to me, but obviously one that's very important within the school system, who coordinated our visits to the classrooms and collected the essays. Nancy Haight, contact instructor from Keith, 
would like to share with us the impact that the program has had on her students. Nancy? Good afternoon. As Lisa shared, Keith Middle School has participated in the Max Warburg Courage Program for the past four years. In this program, our students are asked to write about a time when they were courageous. I was curious to hear about the impact of this program on our students, so I interviewed the sixth grade language arts teachers. This is what they shared. Our students profoundly identify with the essays published in the Courage of Children Anthology, the collection of essays written by children in our students make connections with those children and are inspired to share their life experiences and their own writing. One teacher shared that some of her students initially thought they were alone in their challenges. The Max Warburg Courage Program has given the children the opportunity to see that they are, in fact, not alone. For many of our students, this program helps them realize that they, too, possess courage. Teachers express that through this program, students have the opportunity to tell stories they may not have ever had a chance to tell. It isn't easy for many of our children to tell their stories. Participation in this essay contest is truly an empowering experience for our students and provides our teachers an opportunity to learn about our students' lives and how they have risen above. Dr. Brene Brown is a research professor at the University of Houston's College of Social Work who studies vulnerability, courage, and worthiness. She says, owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing that we will ever do. Through the Max Warburg Courage Program, our children show courage through the simple act of writing their stories. In the process, each child develops a better sense of self. What an amazing opportunity. A special thank you to all those who continue to make this possible. Thank you, Nancy. It says it all. <clears throat> With the Warburgs and Dr. Dion, please come forward to distribute the awards. And with the students and their teachers, please come forward. And I would ask Vanessa Santos to come forward to read the recipient's names. Thank you. Middle School, the award recipient, Presley Silva, with her teacher, Mrs. Cesarini. Also from Keith Middle School, Anna Bonsuna with her teacher, Stephanie Machado. From Normandin Middle School, Scarlett Katera with her teacher, Timothy Bowen.
Also from Normandon Middle School, Andrea Orlena with Miss Ashley Pereira as her teacher. From Roosevelt Middle School, Henry A.J. with his teacher, Mrs. Ashworth. And finally, Jaylee Pacheco with Miss Julia Lewis. And one last round of applause for our amazing entire Well, that wraps up our official program for the 2018 Max Warburg Courage curriculum. We look forward to coming back to your schools in September to start the 2019 year. We wish you all a great summer, and I think all the fellows have a book at their place, which will require summer reading. <laughs> thank you all for coming, and thank you to the Warburgs for being here.